things are going well. Mark uh, June 17th of 2021 on your calendar. That's our grand opening date. We hope to have good weather and hopefully the COVID will, will be over with by then. Uh, to date, we've raised just short of $1.3 million in cash for this project. And we need to thank the people of the Greater Grand Forks area, the businesses of the Greater Grand Forks area, um, the City of Grand Forks, the Park Board, the County Commission, and you guys for, for, for making that happen. We've, um, we've raised just short of $900,000 of in-kind support for this. So when you total those two numbers up, it's a little over $2 million. Northrop Grumman and General Atomics are going to provide us outside models that we can put on posts. The, the Global Hawk is a one-tenth scale model like you see out at Northrop Grumman. And uh, uh, the General Atomics is a, pr a Reaper with a 12-foot wingspan that has missiles and bombs and things like that uh, on it. So they're going to be at the, at the park. We just have to figure out where we're going to put them. I say that the park is 95% complete. If you go to the park, you're going to see the lights, you're going to see the wall, the obelisk, the shelter, and the sidewalks. And if you walk the, the Walk of Honor, you'll see 600 and some blocks that have been laid um, there. Uh, we've sold a little over 900. We've got room for 1,300. And if we have to go to 2,000, we've got room for that as well. So things are going well. We've got uh, five service benches to, to put up, uh, 15 individual park benches to put into place and we decided to wait uh, uh, for the spring to that instead of to just having them out for the for the winter uh, the um, visitor center is just about done we're waiting on flags and some punch ticket items for for the building itself the donor wall is is built we didn't put the plaques on the donor wall yet because we want to see how they last through the winter. So if you go out there, you'll see one attached to a post, and we'll see how it goes through the winter. All the buildings, the wall, the obelisk, we thought about what if somebody takes a can of paint and puts graffiti on them. We, we brought them so that they can be, be cleaned easily, uh, and that we've tested those. And it's a shame that we have to do that, but you know, that's, that's the way life is these days. We've got Wi-Fi out there. We'll have a security system. Uh, uh, it, just about everything is in, in place. We've uh, sold a little over 900 of those blocks. And uh, Sinus Granite out at, of at East Grand Forks does all the etching for us. And they have to do that in the wintertime. They're, they're slow time. So they'll etch those and we'll put those in in, in the spring. Uh, I'd like to say that we've baked a cake, and now we've got enough money to pay for the cake, but we'd like to put some icing and sprinkles on that cake, and we're still doing some fundraising. Um, we're looking for $100,000, and, and I tell you, the community has been extremely receptive and generous to that, and I'm sure we're going to, going to make that happen. One of the things that, uh, Tom, my vice is here tonight, and I told him if I lie, he's going to swear to it. Um, but uh, we would like to get an airplane out there in some form or fashion. Not a full size, but a mock-up. And we were talking about should it be a B-52, should it be a tanker, should it be a B-1, should it be all three. We're going to take a look at that and go to, there's a website uh, that you can get those made. And we're going to go to Boeing and to others to see if they may want to donate one of those for us, especially a B-52. Uh, 